hey, if you're a broke graphic designer, it's because you're not making enough offers. I'm gonna show you how to make more offers. There's a simple formula that I've used over and over again that I actually learned before I was a graphic designer, and now that I've applied that to my business for the last 15 years, I've been able to grow to where I'm at today. So if you wanna have breakthrough, you wanna stop being broke, you wanna actually start making money as a graphic designer, web designer, motion designer, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so you came to this video because you're probably looking for a sales strategy and a way to get more business coming in the door for your graphic design, web design, or motion design business, and you've found it. This is the video that I wanna break down my formula, my process of how I get sales coming in. And the simple philosophy that I like to share, what I call it is make more offers. Make more offers, M-M-O. The simple formula that I'm gonna take you through today is very, very simple. Conversation plus connection plus need plus offer equals conversion. I'll do that one more time. Conversation plus connection plus need plus offer equals conversion. This formula sounds really simple and it may be really simple, but a lot of people miss many of these steps. If you are not getting sales, it's because you're not having enough conversations. If you're not getting enough sales, it's because you're not actually creating enough connection. If you're not getting enough sales, it's because you're not finding the need. And I'm sure a lot of you actually are finding some of the needs, but maybe the last piece of this is you're not making a compelling offer. This is the formula that I've used in my business that has worked over and over and over again. And every time I'm struggling in sales and I need to go out and prospect, I look at my activity. I look at how many conversations did I have today? How many connections did I create? How many problems did I find? How many needs did I find? And how many offers did I make? If I'm not producing a lot of those every single day, if I'm not having a lot of conversations, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's face-to-face, -face, whether it's business-business in a stage, in a room, wherever it's at, I can usually correlate that back to the activity that I'm making inside my business. So this is what I wanna just show, start with and tell you, and this is just the first part of this, but I think this is a really important formula that you should write down. You should write a big piece of white paper and write it in permanent marker, right in front of your desk, right in front of your computer, wherever you're working from, to it, make more offers. So once you start having conversations, the important piece that you may have missed is actually listening. Many of you that are listening aren't actually listening. You're listening to talk and to respond and not actually to hear them. Chris Voss has a great training on Masterclass that talks about negotiation. Everything in life is a negotiation. And if you take the time to actually listen, repeat back what you heard to them, they're gonna feel like they're being heard. Rather than you just responding back to what you think the best response is or what you think is gonna make you sound great. This is not the way you have an authentic dialogue and authentic conversation. And I wanna ask you this. Are you asking good questions? This is also gonna spark really good conversations and make them feel more connected to you because when you ask a, a follow-up question rather than just speaking, they're gonna go, oh, he's actually listening to me. He's trying to get to something, right? So you need to ask really good questions in your conversation that's gonna create more connection and that's what you need. You gotta create those conversations then the connection and that's gonna make that stickiness and they're gonna to wanna to hear you out. Another tip on this is making sure that you speak less than they talk. Ask questions, but let them do most of the talking. If you were to record your conversation on a phone call, there's some different softwares that I use to do this with my team, you can see on different call tracking softwares how much the agent or you talked versus how much the customer talked. If I were to record your sales conversations and then play them back to you, and we were to divide up a percentage of how much you talked versus the customer talked, I bet you the majority of you are talking more than the customer. And don't get me wrong, I am guilty of this. I've done this many, many times. I spend a lot of my time in the very front end of doing a lot of talking, and then I like to shut up once I've laid the foundation because I used to fire hose people from the beginning to the end, and they would just be so overwhelmed that they couldn't make any kind of decision. So this is a really important tip I wanna make sure you guys have and you understand is let them do most of the talking. Just ask the right questions. Now, if you're asking the right questions, these questions should be specifically aligned to lead them to a specific outcome, whether that's another call, whether that's understanding what their need is, understanding what their needs are. In the graphic design, web design business, ultimately what these people are looking for is more business, more revenue, more income, more wealth, right? Whether it's top line revenue, bottom line revenue, they need more money coming in the door. What a graphic designer or a web designer or motion designer doing is doing is helping that person 
get more visibility, increase their marketing, increase their awareness, separate themselves from the pack. So you need to understand what is the core need? Are they getting poor designs? Is their messaging not working? Are they getting low results? Right? Are they put a bunch of money in and they're not seeing anything? Really listen to what the need is. When you can understand what that need is, then you can go in there and provide them with a solution, something that's productized, something that you have that nobody else has. Even if it's a service that you're selling, you need to sell the outcome, not the service. This is really important. You need to sell the outcome, not the service. Now the last place, and this is where a lot of introverts who are a lot of graphic designers really struggle and people who fall into the disc test of not being more of a driver or dominant, they fall into the steady or the compliant, they have a really hard time making an offer. This might be an area you're struggling. In fact, if you are struggling with this, I wanna know down below how many of you creatives that are watching my videos, that are following my stuff, struggle to make offers. What do I offer them? How much do I sell it for? Am I gonna sell it too much? How this is an area I see a lot of people fail in going for the ask. After you've identified the need, say, hey, listen, I see that this is something you need. If I can fix this for you, would you be open in having me send you a bid and send you a proposal for this? Yes or no, right? Oh yeah, I'm definitely open to that. I think that I have a solution for you that I could help you with. Why don't I put together a proposal and send it over for you? We can review it together and we can actually start moving the ball forward on this. Are you, is this something you're ready to do right now? Yes. Here's another option. Hey, I hear everything that you're saying. I really see a few different areas that we can focus on, but what is the number one priority for you right now? Is it this, this, or this? And they're gonna go, wow, okay. He's actually understanding where I'm at and what my pain points are. Awesome. Is this something that you have the money to invest in now, down the road, or do you just not have the money to fix this right now? Right? Those are ways that you can get towards the call to action. And they go, hey, I would love to earn your business. If this is something you need to fix, I think I'm your guy. Would you like to go ahead and get this thing started? I could put together a proposal for you. Yes or no, right? So you need to be able to make a strong call to action. Yes or no. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and write up a proposal. I'll send it over to you today. Are you ready to get moving on this today if I send this over? Oh no, I'm gonna need a week or two. Okay, what, what's, what's going on? Why do you need a week or two, right? And asking, again, asking questions. Do you have something that you're waiting for? Are you waiting to get paid? Like what, why the delay? and just be super honest with people. Don't be afraid to ask these hard questions. Why the delay? Why in a week or two, right? So these are things that I've gotten really comfortable with. I used to be very uncomfortable doing them, but if you're a graphic designer and you want more sales, these are the things you're gonna have to get out of your comfort zone and learn how to do. The conversations, building the connection by asking the right questions, actually identifying what the need or the problem is that they have, and then making an offer. And that's gonna lead you to more sales. The last piece of this, and I really wanna emphasize this because this is the golden goose of all of it. And this is where majority of you guys are probably failing because of a lack of systems, a lack of, of processes, a lack of a, having a CRM, email marketing, all the different things that you're doing, brand awareness, regular marketing on social media. You're just not following up and nurturing. If you don't have a follow-up and nurturing sequence on the back end of your business, you are going to struggle constantly because not everybody is ready to buy right now. There's a very small percentage. In fact, the stats say that 97% of people are not ready to buy right now. Some of them might be in a week, a month, two months, three months, six months. So you're gonna lose out on 90% of the potential business. So there's only 7% that will actually say, yes, I'm ready to go right now. What about all those other people that you need to follow up with, right? The science doesn't lie. I like to base everything that I do on science. It takes eight to 10 to 12 to sometimes 14 follow-ups to get a closed deal. Those are the stats, those are the numbers. So if you're not doing at least eight to 10 to 12 to 14 follow-ups per customer and per person you bring on board, you're missing out on a massive opportunity of business. That's where the majority of your business you're just letting go. And they're going to other people that are doing that. They're going to your competitors. I follow up with my customers every single month. So there's 12 follow-ups right there. Every month they get a newsletter. On top of that, they're seeing me on social media, they're seeing me on YouTube, they're seeing me in all different ways and forms, even email follows, my team follows up. We follow up with people probably about 20 times a year. So they're seeing and hearing from me constantly. If you're not set up, you don't have these systems in place, this is what I wanna recommend you start doing immediately. Go out there, make more offers, do more listening, have more conversations, ask them for their business, and then follow up until they give up and say, all right, fine, persistence, wears down resistance. And if you truly believe that you have something valuable, that you have something impactful, that you are very talented, you can solve their problems, then you owe it to them. You're doing them a disservice by not following up, by not taking them on as a client. So that's what I got for you guys today. 
This is a really important video for me because I love talking about sales. I love talking about marketing. This is where a lot of graphic designers fail. So that's what I got. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you drop a comment down below. And if you're not already part of my community, the Instagraphics Pro Network, go check that out. Make sure you fill out all of the questions because I won't let you in. I turned down over 60% of the people that try to come into my group because they don't fill out the questions. So fill out the questions. I want to let you into our community. We've, we've really carefully curated this thing. There's a lot of amazing people in there and we're about to do some really big things together. So we'd love to see you in there. I'm Adrian Boyce Sale. I'll see you on the next video. And as always, keep looking up.